Alrighty, so here we are back playing some more Tropico 6, and today we are on to episode number 5 of the Tourism Island playthrough. Second time we're attempting the series, and in the last episode, we sort of did some very basic, um, just continuation of expanding the island out a bit. Sort of setting up a bunch of different food types which are going to be necessary. I think that's probably going to be the trend for this episode. Trying to get down more different food types just so we can definitely get all the different um, food variety. Which will allow us to have a very high food happiness score which will be pretty important. Um, just sort of keeping up the happiness of the island as much as possible because the last time I tried this series that's what sort of ended things was the population wasn't very happy with our rule. And the moment that one rebellion sparked, the entire island failed. So we definitely want to keep everyone as happy as possible. Sort of handle all that before we expand the tourism section of the island too, too far. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So here we are and things are looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and hit play for a bit. Um, first things first, we want to always be checking our trade deals. And it doesn't look like anything's changed since the last episode. Of course not. Okay. Something that I do want to do is because we don't have Lobbyistica turned on, I can actually change this to special tax. So 1% of all of our export money is actually going to go into our Swiss bank account, which is nice. Um, we're also selling, buying and selling weapons. Um, it would be really nice to get an actual trade deal for the weapons. Because if we check on trade and we come to price modifiers here, we can see the economic event strength and trade routes. Um, if we get an actual trade route for the weapons, it'll be 10% more than usual, which will be nice. And anything that's not in a trade route, actually the price for it is decreased by 15%. So we're losing 15% of our revenue from the weapons that we're buying and selling. Still probably a net profit considering the fact that we're buying the weapons for a third off, but like 33% off. Um, let's actually increase the dock just so we can import stuff faster. However, we're still losing like a bit of the revenue. So kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Definitely not. And pretty soon we will start pulling people onto the island with raids. We haven't even finished the first one yet, but that's fine. And now we have an embassy to Europe over here. And that's pretty nifty. So we're going to start sacrificing their opinion of us pretty soon. Which isn't great. But it should be okay. Hmm. Let's go ahead and purchase our offshore office. And let's actually... You know what? We could maybe do it over here. I think this would be like pretty neat is to kind of have it like this... I like how it's like talks about an offshore office, but like this one's literally offshore. I think that's kind of funny. Um, we don't need to quick build this. We could probably leave it on times four speed for a little bit and let it get constructed. People are going to drive over to this dock, stay all the way around, kind of inefficient, but that is okay. And with our next bit of revenue, I reckon that we should probably start building up the industry buildings that produce us food creamery cannery and a juicery kind of thinking we could try and mix them in up here and then just build a public service the waste treatment facility <clears throat> probably gonna be our best bet here could build it mm. things are looking rough for this honestly we could move the parking deck out of the way and then put this here and move the fish farm out of the way as well. And then maybe even move these like poor houses out of the way, maybe even this bus garage out of the way and start fitting in some other industry buildings. That would probably be our best bet. Um, our offshore office is almost finished. So I'm curious exactly like how bad this is going to get for us. So let's check this out. We're going to invite Europe. And what this is going to do is resources with higher export prices, cars and chocolate. And it will increase in resource prices by 5%. Okay. So <clears throat> we lose points of 
Oh nice, the maximum relations modifier is a negative 20, and currently we're at 80, so all we gotta do is like continually like try and keep up their opinion of us just a little bit, and this will keep us in the safe zone, which is pretty nice. Um, the biggest thing is that this is actually, oh you know what we could even do? Hmm. You know what, I think we're gonna do it. Um, let's go ahead and open up our second embassy. This is sort of a big brain move. Um, and I kind of wish that we could, like, realistically get rid of, um, trying to make Europe our allies here because, well, no, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Anyways, so... What we're doing is we're getting an increased bonus to the export price of cars and chocolate, which we're producing chocolate, which is sort of our little deal on this island, which will be pretty neat. And so then soon we'll be producing cars as our second main source of income in terms of industry, which will be nice. So we'll have two pretty expensive trade goods. Let's go to goods and prices. Check out where chocolate is. Cars is always going to be on top unless something catastrophic happens. But chocolate is, like, definitely not too bad. It kind of went on a nosedive recently, but it should still be okay. I wonder if we have access to... Hmm. We do not. Oh, we do have access to the Trade Institute. Maybe we could do a Trade Institute and try and only affect chocolate and cars. That could be kind of neat. Um. Yeah, maybe getting this early on will be better than getting it later on. Which makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and put this here, I think. That could be a good looking spot. And I do want to employ my ideas. So let's go ahead and move this building. We can move it here, but I would rather kind of move it somewhere. Not as repetitive. But then again, we could just flip it. And then drag a road down like this. That looks okay. Okay, so that one's done. Let's go ahead and move this parking deck out of the way. I'm kind of thinking... That we could just put it down here because the rich people are going to be using it to drive around and potentially their main usage for it is to drive down to the dock. So, But we'll leave it kind of back a little bit just in case they want to come over here. That is all fine. Restaurant, movie theater, it's all looking pretty good. For some reason we're not actually producing any of our sugar. What I should have done a long time ago is actually go to goods and prices and let's find stuff that we're going to be using for trade routes or for like um, production. So we can turn off sugar exports because we want to keep the sugar for our chocolate factories and then the next thing is going to be... <clears throat> what is it called? Sugar and cocoa. So let's turn off cocoa exports as well. Yes. That is all fine. So we finished a rescue raid there. That's okay. So now sugar and cocoa will not be exported, which means that they will hopefully be pushed into our factories here. Let's actually go to the almanac up here. We can do resource overview, sort by amount, double click it. So cocoa exported. Yeah, as we can see, we're like exporting most of our cocoa away and we're not processing like that much so we should have plenty of cocoa cocoa should never like run out but as it turns out we are running out because we're selling a lot of the cocoa that's fine um and then the sugar as it turns out over the past two years it looks like we actually need another sugar plantation so let's just build up one more and hopefully that will sort of be enough for us it doesn't look like we can fit them going this way, which is kind of a shame, but we can definitely fit them going this way. And if we put this one here, then that means that regardless, we can max out the budget, of course, and then we can change this to fiber fertilization, and it does reach all the other plantations, which isn't actually going to be a bonus, but as long as it reaches the other two sugar plantations, then we're happy. So that's all fine. We don't need to get green waste chopper because it's not affecting these two factory wrenches. Okay. So there is all of that. Trade Institute's finished. Hmm. I mean, we could max out the budget. It's going to make it, like, really expensive. 
eh, it doesn't influence the like end budget increase too much so let's go ahead and check out what we got here uranium balloons cars is going to be going down so we need to change that so if we can we should be looking for cars if we ever get a chance meat sugar weapons cigars furniture iron canned goods hides pineapple hmm. nothing too crazy but let's do canned goods if anything oh so look it did it to all of them pineapple hides and canned goods hmm so we really are trying to affect cars actually get it on a positive increase and then look for a sugar deal eventually you e trading add number of provocable trades we actually ran out of electricity because i didn't finish reading that before i did it let's check in on the conservatives opinion of us it's getting kind of low but i reckon we can probably get away with one more before they get too upset max out the budget 64 rpm okay we just scraped by there so we need to watch out either way we can do provoke another bull oil iron aluminum apparel fireworks furniture planks plastic shellfish nothing too great so we should choose something that we're going to be sort of influencing or that we're going to be producing in the very least um these top three or top two top six i guess um we're not producing any of that but we are going to be producing shellfish so let's go ahead and do that one that seems fine study markets generate knowledge based on the average trade impact per worker on base efficiency the building operates on basic settings reducing the monthly in trade impact from exporting goods by 10 percent per worker on base efficiency per worker 10 percent per worker that's pretty good meaning 40 percent then on base efficiency which means that gets up to like 50 percent then that's pretty good either way looking through um i think everything's sort of like as tip top as i can get it for now check in on our ooh, look cars this is what we're looking for so what we're gonna do is zoom on in on the customs office oh this is what i was gonna say though so what we could do is actually be friends with america as well and make them our main trading partner but then we'll also sort of do trade deals with europe to keep them from getting too too upset with us and we'll have someone who's got like a really high opinion of us giving us the best deals possible america um and then we'll just be doing any trade deals we can with europe to sort of keep the peace and because we have europe invited to our offshore office then like if america has a really high opinion of us and we have that bonus of five percent to the cars and chocolate then america will buy our cars and chocolate for a lot of money um so let's go ahead and sign this trade deal here for cars but before we sign it we want to change our customs office to stimulate exports and so previously it was at 26 i think now it's up to 32 and that's 143,000 extra dollars that we'll make over the course of time for this trade deal here so let's go ahead and sign that we have two more trade deals so let's see smart furniture and wool not really producing those we can import gold that could be rather lucrative so come back and check that out and we can import tobacco that's not going to be that great and i'll explain why so let's do reduce import taxes now and tobacco it's at negative 23 percent off which is pretty good but the thing is is that if we click on the max volume here we can see how much potential profit this will be but then we also need to take into account how much the volume is this is almost 200,000 units which is going to be roughly like 2,000 or 200 maybe like 150 times that the shop um the freighter shows up and so that could take a really long time to fulfill this right alternatively if we come up to the gold trade that they have for us and we look at the max volume that's a hundred thousand dollars that we'll make and that's only like 50 maybe 40 times that the dock needs to show up so this one's going to be a lot better for us so let's go ahead and sign that as well and now we can come through and switch this back to special tax and because we're signing all these trade deals with europe it should be increasing their opinion of us so 97 that's pretty good let's go ahead and praise them we're definitely going to need to be praising them as much as possible um, just to sort of increase their opinion of us so it's making 700 800 
at ninety dollars in a month. That's really good. That's actually really really good. Um, it kind of makes me want to get the edict. Tax saving increases revenue while offices and offshore offices by fifteen percent. But it's going to decrease the standing with all the superpowers too much. So this can be like an absolutely like late game thing that we do if we're making all of the superpowers really happy with us. But for now, we definitely don't want to do that. Um, customer service and gig economy. Let's go ahead and research those two. Um, gig economy, customer service. Now, before we activate them, let's go to our economy here. Revenue. And it's going to be kind of hard to keep up with it, but... Fees and rents. We're making a lot of money from tourists already. And then fees. Hmm. Oh, bees here. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. The stadium, even though the stadium isn't for tourists only, it's still generating a lot of money from all the tourists showing up, which is pretty cool. Um, $23,000 from our casino in the past 12 months. That's pretty good. So what else I'm thinking is we could do legalized substances, which is really going to make the religious faction upset, the conservative faction upset, but is going to increase our revenue from tourists by quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we don't even have enough research points for that. That's crazy. I thought we had like a whole heap load. Let's go ahead and increase the budget of our library. Sort of help out with that. Get the upgrades for both of these. That's okay. And now we're sort of chilling. So let's see here. Plenty of unemployed people. Let us start by doing this urban development. Which means that now houses are half off and we can start throwing in some new apartments around. And then what we can do is build up some more tourist buildings. So let's go ahead and do a new tourist building here. And here I suppose, maybe even on over here. Three new ones, that's okay. Max out their budgets, Hotel Camarote. Um, let's even do yet another apartment. I reckon it's probably fine. Cool. We're probably going to need even another grocery. So let's go ahead and do that. Quick build that on up. And once we make it over 100,000, I think sort of like one of the last few things that we'll focus on is building up the new industry buildings to get all the different various food types. That'll be pretty important. We could even go so far as to even try and build another cathedral over here, I think. That would probably be a pretty good idea. Let's check in on our happinesses. I haven't been doing that too, too much. Faith 76, that's pretty good. Could be higher. Fun's doing really good. Food's doing pretty alright. Housing's doing really good because we increased the budget of all the housing lately. Crime safety's alright. Could be higher. Um, let's check in on crime safety real quick. It's looking pretty good. Over here, it's kind of bad. Um, these little shacks are going to decrease the crime safety nearby. On top of that, this building, the um, Pirate Cove, decreases crime safety. On top of that, this nightclub harshly decreases crime safety. So this area is rather crime ridden, especially compared to the rest of the island. It's even getting kind of bad down here, but not too, too bad. No one lives around here, so it should be okay. Um, we actually didn't end up building a police station or the waste treatment facility here that I wanted to do. So maybe we can try and sneak this in somewhere. Hmm. Potentially. Let's see. Ooh, yep. You know what? This might just be perfect. I'm going to game it up. Yes. Okay. So let's do that there. And then we can do the police station here. And then we can do a road. No, I didn't do it right. I thought that this would be really cool, but 
kind of whatever. Um, what I was hoping is that this road would come out here, there, and then we put parks here, but um, you can't build another intersection right next to a different intersection, so like we have to do it this way. And that's fine, it just means that there's going to be grass in this square here. And let's go ahead and throw in just some stuff like this. A 2 by one there is probably fine. We'll let this get built up. Kind of would rather save money for a little bit. Let's see how many people are using the teleferric station. Lots of people, okay. That's cool. Here we go now. Let's see how much it's influenced. 50 people, that's pretty good. And it looks like our chocolate factories are doing pretty well. Another rescue raid finished. Even more tourists showing up. Very, very good. Making lots and lots of money now. This one was supposed to be for tourists only, so let's go ahead and switch that. This one, we'll just leave it on that option. Playback equipment. Oh no, we're running out of electricity. I'm doing that a bit too much. Um, the conservative faction, they're not too mad right now, so let's go ahead and build one additional wind farm here. Or wind turbine. Change all the work modes around and stuff. Let's invite America to that one up there. Let's praise them and potentially look for new trade routes with America. Could be good. Exporting sugar, which we're not doing. Jewelry, jewelry, boats. Cloth to Europe. Smart furniture to Europe. Nothing from America. But the trade routes are about to replenish, so... Refresh, I suppose. Let's go through and look for anything that America or Europe is going to trade to us. We could import coal for like almost no money. This could be kind of cool. Let's see. Is this on reduce import taxes? This might be the lowest that I've kind of almost... I don't think I've ever actually gotten something to zero dollars. So this could be really good for us. Um, importing coal at 85% off. Like $300 for a thousand units of coal. That's kind of insane. It would generate us a lot of money over the course of time. But, I mean, it's kind of whatever. Um, let's see what else we have. We can import cheese from Europe. That could be really good. Let's go ahead and do that. Importing cheese from Europe. Sell tobacco or steel to America. Uranium to Europe. Smart furniture to Europe. Passenger drones. We're not making. Milk and meat to America. Cotton to America, banana to America. We can do banana. Let's go back to stimulate exports. Let's sell bananas. We could do one and one. That could be kind of funny. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Well, I mean, it's not really like that worth it. We're not producing a quarter of a million units of bananas quickly, you know. But we could do like this one and that one. That could be all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's check all of our trade routes. Let's just buy a bunch of them real quick. I'll drag this down to roughly maybe, I'm thinking, yeah, 50,000. That's okay. Just to open up a bunch of options for us. Let's do bananas to them, bananas to these guys. Um, we can do meat to America as well. It says we're losing money, but we're actually making money because the auto income for a thousand units is only $900. So Without this trade deal, we're losing a lot of money. So with this trade deal, we're technically only losing a little bit of money. But technically, technically, we're gaining money in the long run. So let's go and do that. We can sell our milk to Europe as well. So now if we click on support up here, come over to who foreign relations, we can see America and Europe have a pretty high opinion of us. So let's go ahead and leave things as it is for now. And that's going to help us generate a bit more money in the long run. Very good. See how much money this building made us a thousand dollars a month it makes us a thousand dollars a month that's pretty good pretty pretty good let's let our yeah as you can see we're making forty thousand dollars from our freighter which is kind of more than we've made in previous years very good to see so now this teamsters office way over here which isn't doing anything technically like, it has to drive really far to actually make it to our production sites, and then drive really far home. This is really inefficient. There's, like, nothing nearby for it to do besides maybe, like, pick up goods and bring them to this grocery. So, maybe we'll leave it. But ultimately, I think it is quite inefficient. Okay. So, things are starting to look pretty good, and 
I do want to sort of try and get... Oh, we have plenty of unemployed people, lots of homeless families. So, what I'm going to do then is each of these tourist buildings takes four. So, let's... Honestly, we could fill in, like, this entire area right now. I think that's what I'm going to do for the end of this episode. Let's just try and get that done. Let's do two here, I suppose. I can do one here, one on the next block down, and then flip it to one here. I can do one and another one opposing each other like that. I suppose that's fine. Let's do this, and then let's actually go and pick up a skyscraper hotel. And fit this in. I believe this area here will look good. Let's also check in on our population. Unemployed, lots of them. We have some high school and college educated people who need jobs. And I was thinking about something. Let's do a... We could actually build up a college. That would probably be really good for us. Let's go ahead and throw this on up here. Let's build it all the way down. I think would be neat. Um, let's quick build it. Let's spend a lot of our money with this, the end of this episode today. Um, we can leave it on the medium budget there. That's probably fine. We can do interactive education. Um, let's go ahead and max out the budget on all of these. Do Hotel Camarote. All of them. That is a lot of vacant jobs for us, which is really good. Let's go ahead and quick build the Skyscraper Hotel. Hopefully this doesn't drag down our electrical budget too much. We are That's really close, but we're okay. Um, so there's all that. And then we're going to need plenty of new housing. Homes Family 63. So let's go to this. That means that we need seven new apartments. So let's go ahead and spend the money for all of that. So quick build there, quick build there, and there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a lot of money that we just spent, but should be okay. Um, we have a grocery here, and then we're going to need plenty of new fun buildings. So we'll build those up pretty soon just depending on how things turn out we should make a lot a lot of money though this is a lot of new tourists showing up which means that our tourism buildings are going to be absolutely full all the time we have legalized substances now so let's go ahead and activate that There we go. So now we have a lot of taxable revenue coming in from that there. And it would be neat if we could see our revenue miscellaneous. It says tourist fees here, but it would be really nice if we could see exactly how much extra money that was generating. I don't think it'll end up showing us. It'll just sort of be like tacked in. But wow, look at that. Expenses went up quite substantially, but a lot of that was construction cost of all these hotels and stuff. So ignore that. But look at the revenue. It went up quite a bit. It was like in maybe the mid 300,000s, and now it's mid 400,000s, which is really nice to see. And on times four speed, as you can see, a little bit of time passes and we make a lot of money. So let's see if there's any trade deals to and from America or Europe that we're looking for. Um, nothing right now, and I don't think that these actually refresh since the last time we looked at them. Maybe they did. Juice. Ooh, jewelry from America could be really good. So let's go ahead, fly on over to our customs office. This should be on stimulate, ta um, <clears throat> this should be on special tax, but previously we didn't change it. That's okay though. 24,000 units, which is not a lot of time in terms of like different exports going on, but that'll net us $100,000. So let's go ahead and sign that. We need yet another trade deal. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, juice, that's fine. We can actually pr start producing juice now instead of having to wait for the industry building. So that's all good. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode here as well. Um, we definitely made quite a bit of progress, and in the next episode, we'll finish this completely out. Kind of maybe do a bit of work up in our, like, main island area. Uh, maybe even sort of try and look for something that's going to make the conservatives happy. This is kind of concerning, the fact that I did legalize substances, which really makes them upset. That's going to sort of limit our ability to produce a lot of... Ooh, the religious faction hates us too. Yeah, they are quite upset. <clears throat> 
And the apartments they hate whenever we make those for some reason. No free lunch and legalized substances together nets a negative 25 opinion from them, which is really, really, really bad. Um, so maybe we should start pushing everyone away from the religious faction. That's probably going to be our bet, honestly. Um, let's see what this is. Um, yeah, so this is an ultimatum that comes from them. There's a number of things that we can do. One thing is if we start netting a lot of money into our Swiss bank account, what we can do is, like, see these here? Plus 10 to environmentalist standing. We could start, like, doing this to all sorts of different people all the time once we start embezzling, like, a lot, a lot of money. Um, whenever I was, like, starting to really try and get good at this game, the thing that I would try and do that I thought was the absolute most fun thing that you could try and do was to make an island and then try and embezzle I think it was like a million or two million dollars I think that's what it was and so you try to get your Swiss bank asset all the way up to over a million and I would just sit there and get it up really really high and I would do everything I could and then I never actually came to the broker and then once I made it to the like million or two million or whatever it was I finally went into the broker and I just started like clicking on these like willy-nilly because I just had an unending amount of money and no goals after that so i could just spend it all i wanted and i started to see like how ridiculously overpowered the broker can be and so this is one of the main reasons that i turned off the um what's it called lobbyist co dlc because the more swiss bank money you get the higher corruption is on the island and the higher corruption is the lower crime safety and the lower liberty gets and it's like kind of intense it gets really really low very quickly um so lobbyistico if you're going to ever be embezzling money definitely turn it off before you start your playthrough in other words it's just going to be a massive headache but um this could be something that we could do to sort of kind of alleviate the negative impact of all of our decisions towards the religious factions opinion of us that could be good um yeah it's kind of upsetting that this is happening there's not a whole lot that we can do we could do something like oh you know what we could do i think contraception ban increases religious standing by 25 percent decreases intellectual standing by 20 percent Improv theater is going to help us out a lot here. Okay, so maybe that's what we'll do. As you can see, the like ideas are all coming together pretty well. Um, if we do contraception ban, this will kind of get rid of the legalized substances penalty. And then there's maybe one other thing. Good old days. Ooh, but the only downside is that this is going to make the intellectuals rather quite upset. So then maybe we can try and find something that will make the intellectuals happy. And we need to keep them happy because we've already influenced everyone towards intellectual faction. As you can see, there's almost 500 of them and only 161 conservatives. So we definitely want to keep the intellectuals happy. Um, lots and lots of decisions that we're going to be making in the next couple episodes that will really shape the way that the island's going to come together. But we need to keep the conservatives happy or they're going to get really upset. And this is what I'm talking about. I talked about it earlier in the series. It would be nice if, like, see how that's 820 population? It'd be nice if, first off, it'd be nice if you could see, like, exactly how many, like, adults were on the island. I don't know if that shows population. Growth decline age. Oh, we can see. So there's 53 children on the island. Right, so 715 plus 22 is 717, 737. 737 adults. It'd be nice if... You got a faction below 10% of that, so 737, 10% of that rounded up would be 74. So if you got a faction below 74 for like this current population, right? Um, if there was less than 74 people supporting the conservative faction, it'd be really nice if they just never gave ultimatums. Or maybe even like 20% just to keep it simple. Like kind of easy to attain. So 73 times 2 is... We'll just say 140. So if I got this just a little bit lower, it'd be nice that the conservatives never, like, gave a whole ultimatum. And some of the ultimatums are, like, really annoying. The religious faction one, I think, is pretty nice because 
citizens lose personal experience when visiting ecclesia ecclesial buildings that's annoying because what if you don't have like any people supporting the religious faction you know like this happens no matter what citizens lose personal experience when visiting like churches and stuff anytime they go to a church they're just gonna their support of you is gonna go down like no matter what even if no one supports the religious faction that's like really really annoying um but the second part of the citizens oriented towards the religious faction might set certain buildings on fire after visiting them that's actually pretty cool right so that means like the less people in the um religious faction that you have the less fires you're gonna see but if your entire island is full of religious people and then you make them really upset then your fire like <laughs> your entire island is just gonna be catching on fire um, effects last for one year, but the first sentence is kind of annoying. Um, so we definitely want to avoid this as much as possible because if this ends up happening, everyone goes to church and this is for a whole year, then everyone's going to be losing support. Like it's just going to be tanking. So we have to deal with this. Um, maybe there's something in the constitution additionally that we can do. They want us to do forced marriage, maybe no traditional marriage. Okay. Um, that could be attainable. Let's go ahead and queue up marriage rights in the hopes that we can get that done. We have like a little over two years, or we have roughly two years. So before we get too, too far into the next episode, just to keep things working correctly, 75 spare electricity is what we need for this. How much spare electricity do we have? We have 16. That's not good, which means we're going to need like two new... Oh man, we're in a pretty rough spot right now, not gonna lie. Either way, we'll start coming up with solutions to all this in the next episode. I would really like to get a research lab down so we can start producing a lot of um, knowledge points and we can use that to sort of get rid of this um, ultimatum that's gonna happen. We definitely need to because, like I said, losing a lot of support for like almost no reason wouldn't be that great. Do we have a fire station? I don't think we do. That is a bit of an oof on my part. And it's okay. Lots and lots of stuff that we need to get done in the next episode. But if you enjoyed this episode, then be sure to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with more Tropico 6 series like this, then be sure to subscribe. Peace.